If you're thinking about buying an electric car, there's mounting evidence that they're as safe or safer than conventionally powered vehicles. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sparacia digs into the reasons for that. Growing numbers of electric vehicles are now hitting the roads as people look for ways to be kinder to the environment. And according to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, an electric vehicle is also kinder to you if you're involved in an accident. It wasn't just crash tests to the front, but six tests at all, including roof strength, collision avoidance, and front crash protection. And in the most recent test, both the Volvo XC40 Recharge and the Mustang Mark E did well. The electric vehicles uh, are as safe in our test when it comes to crash worthiness and collision avoidance as internal combustion engine models. How safe? Well, according to the Highway Loss Data Institute, injury claims for electric vehicles are 40% lower than for identical gas-powered vehicles. What seems to be the reason for that? I think the likely reason at this point is the fact that the electric vehicles weigh a lot more. That's because the batteries in electric vehicles are very heavy. If you are in a heavier vehicle, you often have less force exerted on your body when you're in a crash and therefore less likely to be injured. Add automatic crash protection features and it adds up. They perform well in our test. But what about the danger of electric car batteries exploding? The Institute says that's not a concern. However, there are some precautions that emergency responders need to take in terms of making sure that there's no discharge from the battery that might injure them or injure the occupants in the vehicle when they're trying to get them out. Practice sessions like this have helped first responders become familiar with how to deal with electric vehicle crashes. In the next couple of years, as automakers convert their fleets to all electric, consumers can have confidence they're not compromising safety if they change from internal combustion to an e-car. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasia.